In today's video I'm going to show you how to use two different tools to do chroma key in DaVinci Resolve 17. I will show you how to use a brand new 3D keyer in the edit page and delta keyer in fusion page. Interested? Great! Let's jump into today's tutorial. Here we are in DaVinci Resolve 17 in edit page. Today we're going to talk about chroma key and how to key out green screen in edit page. So I will introduce you new 3D keyer which uh, is going to be the main tool to key out green screen in edit page and later on we're going to compare it with delta keyer in fusion page. So let's start it and go to media pool to import some video clips. We're gonna grab this weather girl, put it in onto the layer two. Uh, we're gonna grab also some background. So we're gonna put this background to under the weather girl clip. So we're gonna shorten a bit. And next thing is we're gonna close media pool, go to effect library. Go to Open Effects, go to Filters, Resolve FX, and find the uh, FX key. So grab 3D Kia and put it into the uh, Wedegar clip. So you can close uh, Effect Library, go to Inspector, so highlight the clip and go to Effects. So next thing is be sure that you open this FX overlay here. In case that, that you will not do that, these tools will not work properly. So let's grab this eyedropper and draw a line around her. So you can see immediate results with a few uh, spills here and there. So we're going to use another eyedropper with a plus. So we're going to just draw a line a little bit. So you can see that we have spill on her hands and on her hair. So a few spills here and there. So what we're going to do, we're going to use this spill. You can see that the results are, are crazy, really immediate results. So we're going to hide these pads. And uh, we can see in full screen that it's not too bad, but still we have some work to do. So let's go to Output and change to Alpha Highlights Black and White. So we can see that we have some uh, whites in, in our black. So we're going to open Mate Finesse and we're going to clean our blacks. Do not uh, just, yeah, just a, a small amount of it, so like 2, 2.2. And let's go to Alpha Highlights. We can see here also if you can check here if there is any problem at all. So no problems. So we can play a little bit with radius as well. So a small amount. We can also go in and out ratio. So just for a little bit. So and that's it. Because yeah, we don't have anything else to do. So let's go back to output and go to final composite and we can see that clip is uh, finished. So one thing is that yeah, we, we're going to check this. I reckon this is amazing result in such a short time. So Nate, next thing is we're going to see what we can do in Fusion page. So let's import Again, weather girl and uh, background. So we're going to do the same thing in fusion page. So let's change this video clip to new fusion clip. So we're going to close this media pool. Highlight this, put the playhead on the, in the middle and go to fusion page. We're going to see in fusion page already we have notes here. We're going to just move it here. 
And one thing is be careful because this is foreground. So foreground means that weather girl is our foreground and uh, clouds are our background. So we can change this with command uh, with key F2. So if you press F2, uh, you're going to be able to rename uh, the tool and we can go with green and just press OK. And of course, we can change media one as well. So F2 and we're going to change this to our background. And press OK. So now we're going to go to green because we have to change this note or let's say we have to key out our green color here and uh, let's press shift and spacebar and go to delta keyer when we have delta keyer just put it in so now we have everything prepared so go to uh, delta keyer one commands and just pick this one this uh, eyedropper and press it and go to green screen just check where is the most of it and that's basically it so let's check what happened with one stroke only so we have we have done almost everything here so we we can go to mat as well so we can restore a bit fringe if we want to so a very small amount so we can also erode if we want you can see here that uh, our, we can blur a bit so that's another thing so uh, we can clean our back, backgrounds as well uh, so basically we have done very really really good job so let's go back to edit page so we can move this clip to and play both clips through so both clips are made very fast so let's see the first one and 3d care is a really good tool and very fast and you can use it for various effects uh, directly on timeline so this is uh, fusion uh, delta care and you can see that the quality is much better uh, so uh, I will use also in the future uh, delta care in fusion page for because it depends on the project that we I have so uh, but anyway 3d care is a really powerful tool so I basically can't decide which one is better because it has to be uh, each tool is use, usually for different things uh, and uh, I, I can still say that the Fusion one, the Delta Care is for me a uh, really usable tool uh, and I will start also using 3D Care uh, in the future so you decide which one is better and uh, see you next time if you enjoyed the video make sure you hit that thumbs up and share and if you want more tutorials like this make sure to subscribe to the channel until next one see ya